previously in Cyberpunk 2077. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? I don't see any stars at all. Yeah. You do? Oh dear. That means there's a major leak. Aha. 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 Okay. I got this. This is this is my area of expertise. That's one leg. It's so pretty. I understand why Regina wants to try and rehabilitate these people, but it does. Today's your lucky day, Bitten Jimbo. Russell. Your name's Russell. Right? Russell. You get to live. Although I don't know if you would consider that a blessing, considering what you've done. And now to continue. Okay. I think I've put this off long enough. Really hope she's not mad at me. Why is my vision all glitchy? Judy. Hey V. Come on in. Hey Tom. It's, cold. it's been a while, dude. How you been? Why We're in the kitchen. What is wrong with my vision? Everything looks so You made it. Good. Grab Weird. Yeah, give me a sec. I don't. I don't think. She's worked at clouds longer than any of us. Hello. Hi. Um. Nice hey. to meet you. Nice to meet you. When I heard what you pulled at clouds, shit, I so regretted I was off that day. Just eat the free pizza and then we're out of here, okay? Not now, Johnny. Come here, cause. You want payback for what happened to her? That's for sure. How did but he I move the curtain? No job too. No fears, no tears, you know. Y yeah. How you doing? How are you? Okay, I guess, but you know, sad as hell. Nah. Another th who, what? You'll never get rid of the stench you. of the corpse. You drop a lot of them, don't you? What's your secret? Ah, uh, subtle as subtle always. Subtle comes naturally to you, doesn't it? Yeah, odd, given how much work I gotta put into it. Done saying hello to each other? Revolution won't plan itself. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, make the doll move and fight like a preem tier solo. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes. Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. You'll air it out later. Wow, what a bitch. Fine, I'll sit by the window. The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. Already tested it out on Tom. Chip's impulses supplant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. But it's basically the same as when we activate ourselves for a client. Okay, so just to recap, we're all here because we're pissed off about Evelyn Parker's death, and you think it's a good idea... V, get it together. To I am getting it together. Give me a moment. Do so you think it's a good idea that, that the, the Clouds dolls basically become independent and oversee their own business, same way the mocks do down at um, Lizzie's bar? And the way we're going to do that is by using violence to overthrow... The Tiger Claws. 
A gang with a lot of power and a lot of resources. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Okay, I think that about sums it up. So, how did you come up with this plan specifically? How did you ever come up with this? Learned how the behavioral chip works at Clouds. Always seemed like they must be pretty easy to modify. I'm surprised I didn't get the idea the moment we walked into Maiko's office. Count yourself lucky. What with all the cams and mics and clouds? Tiger Claws would sooner dig those chips out of the dolls with screwdrivers than let an idea like this run its course. Yeah, which is why we're trying to get them out of the picture, I guess. All right, let's see what you got. All right. Got to see it to believe it. Finally, someone said it. Tom? Thought you were going to smoke near the window. Johnny? Pulled that sequence from a kung fu training virtue. What sequence? I wasn't looking. Whoa! That was pretty close to my head, dude. Not bad. I admit, not bad. Yeah, for the market square in Kabuki. Uh, before we start talking serious biz, gonna need to see serious action. You just saw him. I saw a bar trick. I want to see a fight. Can I take those? An expert in causing bodily harm among us. I want to see how Tommy handles her. Oh, you want her to fight? You want him to fight me? <sighs> Just don't mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. All right. It's on now. What the? Whoa. Ah! Everything chill? You okay? <laughs> Look at me go. You see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm good. I'm good. Wow. Gotta do some cardio. <sighs> Any complaints from you, Johnny? Just say it. Who, me? This is my impressed face. So you happy now? Happy now? I'm really happy. But that was proof enough. Okay. Not much Let's of an answer. It, You've got an elite force of three muscle heads and a techie. What now? Guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower. Take down, disarm, escort them out. Clouds will be ours. Bosses will give an ultimatum a cut of the proceeds in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again and having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought. A half baked, insane plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Hiromi Sato is the man you gotta get to. Who's he? Hiromi Sato? Who's that? Cloud's real boss. He rarely shows, but you can't so much as sneeze without him finding out. Claws trust him, respect his opinion. He is one of them. We can try to convince him, but it's doubtful. We stand a better chance by injecting him with a dose of fear. And how do you expect to do that? Okay, we'll worry about that in a moment. Where is he? Where do we find this Hiromi? At his apartment. H8 Mega Tower. Topmost floor. It's a penthouse. Almost never steps outside its glass walls. But I'll figure out a way to get us inside. Okay. And these two? Tom and Roxanne gonna come with? No. Whole points to strike both places at the same time. They'll take care of business at Clouds. Two pronged assault. Love in it. Okay. Wouldn't it be better to ambush him on the street, like while he's chomping on a scop dog or taking a piss in a back alley? Why even try breaking into a penthouse? Probably crawling with guards. He'd only don't go anywhere without security. So one makes no difference. Two, this is only a show of force demonstrating what we are capable of. Which is a lot more than street thuggery. So how about it, V, Tom, Roxy? Made up your minds? I... I need to think about it. Never wasted anyone before, you know. I'm with it all the way. V? 
Don't tell me you're seriously considering this. Sticking our precious necks out for a bunch of whores? You know, just because you object? Count me in, Judy. Already said I'd help, didn't I? Thanks, V. Save the gratitude for later, please. I'll set up the meet with Hiromi and let you know. I need a couple days. Have fun. Toodaloo. Michael, hold up. Give us a lift. Couple of days, huh? Only if you don't talk to me. I feel a migraine coming on. Oh, shit. I really don't like her. I'm scared, V. Speaking of gratitude, stuff I'm asking you to do will usually come to the price tag, I know. You want to help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. Feels like it's only right. No. No, I'm not doing this for Gee, money. For real? No. Don't want to hear it. But uh, 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 not a word. No, I'm not doing this for the money. I'm doing this because you're a friend and I want to help you. I've got plenty of money, and I can always get more from other jobs. V, everything okay? No, no, everything's not okay. Not even close. V, you don't look so hot. I'm not. I'm really not. What the hell, V? You, like, sick? You could say that. Remember the heist Evelyn hired us for? The relic I was gonna club? <sighs> Couldn't forget that in a million years. That biochip? Well, long story short, it had Johnny Silverhand's mind on it. An engram of it that's overriding my mind. You being serious? Truly wish I wasn't. I mean, Fuck. you could jack in and, and see for yourself. Anything at all you can do? That's what I'm working on. Can hope. It's late. You're tired. You can crash on my couch if you want. Yeah. It's been a while since I had a good sleep, so I think I'll take you up on that. Sounds great. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Make yourself at home. I promise not to raid the fridge. Oh, shit. Not good. Johnny? You there? I really don't feel good, dude. Ugh. Judy, you still here? Well, I'll take that as a no. V, no. The basilisk. It's ready. Would you like to drive it? Uh, hell yeah, I want to drive a tank. Sure. Be there soon. Fuck me. It is awesome. So I hear. Oh, I was wondering when that call was going to come in. All right. Mitch. Oh, my God. Drop by the camp. Still can't do her justice. And maybe you're cheer up. Maybe you cheer up Pan Am. Uh, I think I'm going to cheer myself up more than anything. Morning, sleepyhead. Had to run. Didn't want to wake you. Left you some breakfast. Eat up. Aw. That's appreciated. Can I turn off the radio, maybe? Oh, whoa. I forgot what clothes I was wearing there for a moment. Oh, coffee. And a nice sandwich. Ham and cheese. Oh, that's a good breakfast. She's so nice. I never got to eat any of the pizza, either. Tofu tuna. Ah, uh, you know what? Never mind. Never a big fan of fish. No. Oh, interesting. Place looks like a fucking antique museum. I guess you should feel right at home. 
chick's got taste. Except for one thing. And what's that? The way she looks at you. Don't pretend you haven't noticed. Makes you all mushy inside. I can feel it. Is there a problem with that? Because I don't have a problem with that. Didn't know she dabbled in robotics. Now that's fucking Shimra. Think that's how she winds down? After a day's work of tuning hardcore smut? Wouldn't be surprised. Anyways. It's too bad this window doesn't open. I think it's time for me to find my way out. There we go. And figure out what exactly I'm gonna do next. I'm kind of far away from Pan Am. I don't. And I'm. I just barely left the Badlands yesterday. I don't necessarily want to go back. So. Leave the building. Thought I was done with this. Okay. Did I do it improperly? First I'm inside, and then I'm outside. Do I go this way instead? I'm sorry. There, now my journal's finally updated. I am not doing that. She can wait. Because I'm still not entirely certain that that uh, I have all the information I need on Soul Killer. So, in the meantime, I've got so many other things to do. question is, where to start? Find episodes. What are these? Episode 5. Meet with the mysterious client at Notel Motel. Alright, that's nearby. Investigate Bartmo's site. Okay. So we've got a couple of things nearby that... that uh, I hopefully can handle relatively fast. Um, where are my weapons? Tell me they're all properly... Okay. Keep it on that one for now. I think my bike is holding up traffic. I'm just trying not to get run over. He doesn't look like he's having a good day either. Okay. What? Huh? What happened? Oh, this is not good. Oh, third out of body experience again. Oh, I haven't had this since I left Skyrim. Whoa. Okay. I don't know how I feel about this. My body's just as stiff, too, as if I was still in Skyrim. Okay, let's just deal with it for now. I'll worry about figuring out uh, how I got this way and how I can maybe fix it later. Okay, I hate to say it, but I'm actually a little bit better driver in this camera angle. That's also concerning. <laughs> like, what? Explain to me how I'm doing better, even though I feel like everything should be. Woo! Maybe I spoke too soon. Okay. I'm just going to keep my mouth shut now. 
and I keep accidentally activating my Sani. That's not good either. All right. I feel like I've been here before. Isn't this where I met Meredith Stout for her um, extra job? All right, am I going? Oh, I'm going to the third floor. Yeah, I don't want to think about that. Huh. Okay. Room 210. Should I ring the bell? Or just go on inside? Started to think you wouldn't show. Shouldn't have. To be honest, why not? Um, I only work with fixers. Clients that avoid him tend to be bad news. I just care about my privacy. I know you, don't I? Mm -hmm. And why is that? If I might ask. This is why. Fuck me. It's you. I thought I've seen your face plastered Wizzy? on a billboard or two. Wizzy, Wizzy. Sit, please. Let's talk. Oh, I'll sit. Still into having a bit of a head rush from that out-of-body experience, not to mention the relic messing with my brain. Okay. So what's And now this shocker? I think you can guess. I'm in trouble. Well, yeah, if you're calling me. Uh, and what kind? <laughs> Good question. Been a rough year. Creative block. Can't even say the last time I made anything worth listening to. And to make things worse, I fell in love. How is that? I, I don't see that as a problem. Not the worst thing in the world. It is to me. I have something to say. And that, it's a distraction. I need to focus on my art. So, we're talking a man, woman? Oh shit, these hands. Sometimes it seems like I just brush something and sparks fly. <sighs> anyway, a man. His name's Liam. Liam Northam. Been together a few months, but I think he's cheating on me. What makes you say that? Okay. Why the suspicion? <sighs> it's so cliched, it's embarrassing. Whispered phone calls in the bathroom, strange receipts, secret meetings in the middle of the night. Any specific event come to mind? <laughs> My mind... That's... That's a touchy subject. Why? Don't know each other well enough for that, V. I'm not asking to probe your thoughts for feelings. I'm asking you to recall any specific instance that would make you suggest he's cheating. Like, these are details that are important. Do you talk to him at all? Tell him to his face? <laughs> You're adorable. What, Imagine communication not a thing? We're never alone. Not really. Always surrounded by assistants, PR reps, makeup artists. I stop smiling at him for one millisecond, it'll be all over every scream sheet in this town. Understood. No, you don't understand. Not until you've lived it. Millions of eyes trained on you constantly. It can be beautiful and terrifying. So why do it? All right, so who is this Liam? Liam Northam. Nope, don't know him. Tell me about him. 40-ish, sensitive, guy who never wanted for anything. You know the type. I heard they exist. How'd you meet? <sighs> He's my manager. I know, I know how it sounds. I never meant to. 
He's not even my type, but... But? Your body can be chrome, but the heart never changes. It wants what it wants. All right, so... I'm gonna ask this anyways, but even though I already know the answer, where do I come into this? What do you want me to do? So what's my role here? What do you want? Proof. And then I'll end things. For good. Right. Liam goes to Riot all the time. I think he meets someone there. I want to know who. Is that supposed You'll to be find a out for me? nightclub? <sighs> Nor. Uh, yeah, okay. You can count on me. Perfect. Remember, I want specifics. Details. Recordings or pics if you can. Yeah, yeah. Keep it in mind. Recordings, Good. pics. Now go. Yes, ma'am. Dear God. Definitely a diva. There was a time that I imagined being famous. It seemed appealing. But after having met celebrities, I think I'll pass. Right, so this riot. I'm assuming it's a bar or a club. Where's it at? Oh, just around the corner? Okay. Go away. Um... I've got a lot to do right here in this very spot. Afterlife. Talk to Nyx. That one I think is talking to Rogue. Alright. I kind of want to... We'll do that one in just a moment. I kind of want to see what this is all about. Now. Where did I leave my bike? There you are. Okay. Now I need to prepare myself. <laughs> Jeez. Part of me doesn't actually want to get on the bike right now. Cashmere wool? Okay. Might be worth something. <sighs> okay. It's not that bad. Just think of it like I've got a a little spy drone plugged into the back of my head and it's feeding me images through my own eyeballs of what I look like while I'm riding the bike. Not helping. It's like watching myself on a YouTube video. There we go. Still not really helping, but... Uh... Wait, what? I have a message? Oh, Lizzie. About the job, I'm counting on you for your discretion. You wanted a professional, you got one. When you have something, let me know. Okay. So in other words, she doesn't want me leaving uh, bodies all over the place. Okay. If this is going to become my new reality, I think I want to switch to a car. Oh, I really like my motorcycles. Don't get me wrong. I think this would be far more tolerable if I didn't see myself. Although I do have a great... Never mind. Never mind. We're not thinking about that. There are some upsides and downsides to being a man trapped in a woman's body. Uh, we'll just leave it at that. 
All right, let's just park right here. This is that Bartmos Collective thing. It's how high up? Wait, is this my apartment complex? So, uh, are we gonna talk about yesterday? Certainly looks like it, and they're always having that same conversation. All right, whoa. That was some really creepy advertising. Oh, what's new in the news? Apparently nothing. More ads. I feel like I'm home. Yep, that was common practice at home too. Can't watch five minutes of anything without having to deal with a hundred different ads, it seems like. Always hated it. All right, where am I going? Yeah, there's Fred. I'm going back to my apartment. At least it certainly feels that way. Know what the worst thing is about this place? The crowds? No, the fucking smell. Can't argue with that logic. I am. I'm going home. What's this Bartmos stuff got to do with me going home? Uh. Deceptious Quest Core? What? Oh, finally. What, you're actually glad to be back here? Do you like projecting your image with you smoking cigarettes all the time? I mean, it's a little cliche. Okay. From my home computer. Is it a message? Doesn't appear to be. Bart Moss. Collect. There we go. Investigate the site. <clears throat> Best Isis, I'll pay for any info about Swedenborg Riviera's true identity. Hello, my name is Bess Isis, and I'm an independent journalist. I ended up here after the recent incident at Helvetia. You might have heard about... No, I haven't. Who exactly is the man that inspired, uh, the attacker? The man that you all practically worship? Have you ever wondered who Swedenborg Riviera actually is? I know I have, so here's the deal. I'm willing to pay for any info that might help unravel this mystery. Don't hesitate to get in touch. Bess Isis. Okay. Interesting. Call Bess Isis, I guess. Who exactly is this? Hey, you've reached Nance. I can't come to the hollow right now. If I feel like it, I'll call you back. Bye. Really? A voicemail? Complete other jobs in the meantime. Okay! <clears throat> other jobs indeed. Well, I think f then I'll head for the afterlife next. And I kind of want to figure out what these are. Edge Runners Tour. Find episodes. I'm curious. All right, Johnny. 
Oh, you know, I haven't been to my stash in a while. I've got quite a few more weapons that maybe could stay here. Like, I'm not using all of them. So, like, let's put away the 05. I'm not big on assault rifles or even SMGs, so those can go in the box. Iconic problem solver. Yep, that can go in the box. Um, I prefer the plan B to the death and taxes, so that can go in the box. Same with the Lexington. And can I just disassemble this? Well, not from this menu. Okay. And I'm not into weapons, so there we go. Also, iconic clothing. That won't go in the box. Okay, then. One of these days, I'll upgrade all of these iconic weapons to tier 5. But for now, they can just stay in the box. Any more of them on the shelves? Ooh, we got another sword. No big guns there yet. wonder which one that is. How about over here? Hey, there we go. That hammer's on the wall. Nice. Very nice. Wonder how it'll all fill out. Right then. Alright, Johnny. We're going around the corner. I'm going to go talk to this Nyx guy at the afterlife. And then... And then we'll go talk to Rogue. Like you wanted. So are you coming? Carry on. Oh, I think I need to go down one level. I mean, I could just take the transit. But where's the fun in that? I'm not pushing. I'm running. I wonder if Fred's got anything... Anything good. Hey! Happy new gun owner, I hope. Well, let's see what you got. Ooh, you've got blueprints. And I've got 300,000 eddies. The Lexington. And the guillotine. Might consider those. Also... <sighs> this is nuts. Th okay, 33,011 for the crafting spec. You know what? I'm buying the crafting specs. All of them. There we go. And that's the guillotine, hey? Okay, can I afford... 245,000 I still have. Um, that would be nearly another 100k to get those. So, I think we'll pass there. I think the grenades were good enough. Unless, of course, I can sell you a couple things. Samurai pants. No, I like the samurai pants. Torn. That can go. I like this tank top, too. I don't really have much in the way of clothes, do I? And I should actually start eating some of this food. It's no wonder why I'm... I'll bet that's part of why my relic mal malfunctions all the time. I never have proper nourishment. Alright. Thanks, Fred. See you later. Or, Wilson. Wilson. Why did I call you Fred? Never mind. Alright. Afterlife, here I come. It's been a while. Hell. It's been a long time since I've been home. Anything good in the news? NCP, another victory. The adapt adoption of a policy allowing the sh 
fucking what? Is there a reason why I can't hear the news? Oh well. Right then. So we didn't talk about yesterday. Where's my bike? Oh, okay. Deep breaths. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Oh. It's this transition that's the hard part. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! I meant to do that. That was on purpose. It was a sick trick, wasn't it? Okay, there's a parking lot here. I don't know why I don't use it. There. I used it. Ta-da! I can be a civilized person. Uh, where's the door? Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Hey, Emmerich. Good to see you. Don't so suppose you can tell me where Nix is. Rogue should be here any minute. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna go talk to Nix first. You know the guy you said that we should talk to when we found the weird thing in the refrigerator. You know the body full in in a pool of ice. Hey there. You must be Nyx. Can you teach me something? Yeah, you're a netrunner. You got any tricks you'd be willing to share? Listen, from one netrunner to another. Got any pro tips you could spare? <laughs> Don't see why not. If you're cool with Rogue, you're cool with me. I mean, I hope I'm cool with Rogue. I can sell you a few tricks of the trade from the Bart Moss era. Reach Bart Moss. The Bart Moss. Tell me you're not fucking with me. Before dropping off the grid, he unleashed a slew of ice-breaking grams and protos in the darkest corners of the net. Heard how paranoid he was. Any idea what happened to him? <sighs> Who knows? But I was able to dig up a few classic Bart Moss relics. Here, let me show you. Sure. Oh. Y you have things. Oh, you have things. Things I want. And I have the money to buy them too. Oh. Dated BD Wreath. 8.5% quick hack. Upload time reduction. Oh. 10% quick hack upload timer. Oh, you are speaking my language. I'm going to start by buying these, though. And then we'll see if I have enough for those. Quick hack damage resistance. Ooh. Okay, we're buying that. And we're buying this. Absolutely. Ah, uh, I see a whole bunch of other blueprints here. I don't know if I need them, though. But you know what? I think I might take them anyways. Um, especially if you've got a Tier 4 ping. Because I've got a Tier 5 ping, but I don't have a Tier 5... Um... I don't have a Tier 5, uh, Cyber Deck. We're just going to buy all of the blueprints. Absolutely all of the blueprints. And now I'm running low on money. What? Detonate grenade? No, 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 no. Um, ping. I need, <laughs> I need a better ping. 
I'm still using a common ping. You know what? This one's a tier 3. We'll take the tier 3. I've got a tier 5, but I can't use it. So we'll take the tier 3 because that's the best I can do. All right. That was absolutely fantastic, sir. Thank you so much. And speaking of Bart Moss, I found something you might be interested in. Hey, Nix. Listen, found something. Bart Moss's deck. Mm-hmm. What else you find? Alan Turing's tapes. I'm not joking. Being serious. Have a look-see. Ooh, running shit. God damn, V. Where'd you ferret this out of? Uh, in a fridge. Found it outside town, in a fridge, next to its former owner's rotting corpse. <laughs> Bart Moss all the way. Netwatch made him a wanted man when looking in Shanghai, Lahore, Santiago de Chile. While that dog alighted to the net. Wonder how long he'd have kept buzzing those wires if the power hadn't gone out. Think you can pull anything off it? Hmm. Text coming apart. Humidity damaged. Encryption on the mem cube. Gotta be near divine. Spare me the two step, yes or no? I can try. Failure, though, is a distinct possibility. Then all data will be lost. Done and gone. All right. Ah, uh, you think it might be infected? I think there could be some no longer known vectors on the disk. A, a data crash like thing or rabbits, because if so. Then we pop open a bottle of malignant gin. Painfully aware of the risk I am. But speaking straight, curiosity's consuming me. You feel it too? Oh, I do. I do very much. So let's do this. No risk, no reward. Get to it. Okay. Put the deck on the counter. Just ginger like. All right. Ginger like. Counter. Here? All yours. There you go. All yours? Oh, V. V. Got no sense of reverence. Expect if you found the goddamn Holy Grail, you'd fill it with caramel corn and pop turds. No, not necessarily. Not if I knew what I had. That's the no. problem. Let's get this show underway. I don't know what I have. Hmm. Most data's corrupt, but not all. Password. A dick attack, maybe. Nothing doing. And what about injecting a command? Ha! <laughs> We're golden. One more hurdle. But it ought to be as easy as pie. My, my. I'll take of your word for people, it. Bart Moss should have done better. Whoa! <laughs> Nix! Whoa! Catch it, rat shit. Ideas, V. Fast and stat. Couple of minutes and his skull sponge will be well done stick. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, how about we got a brain broiler? You absolutely sure you want to jack in? Shh. Um, yes. Yes, I am. If it means I can save him, absolutely. Because I want what's on that deck. Uh, let's see. Five, five. Okay. So, there we go. Gotcha. Uh, uh, fuck a muffin. You okay? You breathing? Apparently. Though it feels like I got a skull full of hot embers. Just, what the hell happened? You shorted out. You started convulsing. Lights went out. Outlets started spitting sparks. So, I sat down and finished for you. Hold up, hold up. Mean to say, you reached Bob Ma's deck? 
Lowly you? I know a thing or two. I got lucky. Guess I got a little lucky. Had luck coming out your ears, kid. Alright. Let's see just what you pulled from this artifact. Logs, mail, chat history of sorts. Mm. Potentially interesting, but nothing explosive. Ah, uh, shame, kinda. Well, I guess I can delve some more, see if I can't find something interesting in there. Listen, my services usually command a tidy sum, but this time, well, seems you rendered me a service. Take this. Handful of demons live on that shard. Wasn't Bard Moss who coded them, but they should be useful nonetheless. Thanks, Nex. You gonna get it together? Be all right? Or you need help? No, no. Be just fine. A couple of painkillers washed down with whiskey, and I'll be a new man. Uh, all right. It's not usually a good idea, but okay. Listen, um, I'll be back later. I want to see what other fun stuff you get in stock later. Because, oh my god, the things that I just got my hands on. Um, okay. Oh. I forgot I bought that. Well, guess that was wasted money. Not a worry. I didn't spend that much. And, well, I can get it back pretty quick. Okay, now before we, uh, run away, I've got more business right here in the afterlife. Just as soon as I figure out where my... AI, what the? Could you maybe give me a little bit of warning before you just appear out of nowhere? <laughs> 